Hello. The national living wage. The national living wage is upon you, peasants. You may thank me. Oh, Mr. Osborne, I hear it's to raise to nine pounds by 2020. Nine pounds an hour, everyone. You may dance a merry jig around your nine shining coins. We dance around the nine coins that Mr. Osborne gave us. Initially, it's going up to a whopping seven pound 20. It's no longer called the minimum wage. It's called the National Living Wage. And there's the problem, Mr. Osborne. You bloated foie gras farmer of hate. You couldn't stitch yourself up. If you call it the National Living Wage, that means it's how much you need to survive on. Seven pounds and a 20 pence piece. I can survive for the next hour. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm so smelly and offensive to thine eye, Mr. Osborne. But you only get it if you're over 25. My mum had two kids by the time she was 25. She worked as a dinner lady, a cleaner, and a prosser. Sorry, not a prosser, I shouldn't have said that. That means, Mr. Osborne, you admit that someone being paid less than £7.20 cannot live. Therefore, if you are 21 to 25, we expect you to die, Mr. Peasant. I'm 24, I'm feeling so weak. I tried to survive on less than a national living wage, but it's literally what you need to live. So I've died. Yes, yes, calm down, peasants, calm down. Maybe if I explained it in Latin, it would be easier. Antimari et calum et ratum et... I'm only joking, I'm only joking. Remain calm. Yes, a lot of the 21 to 25 year olds genuinely won't be able to survive, as the name National Living Wage suggests, but that's exactly in line with conservative policy. For us to hit our targets, we need several of the stinking masses to die. By ensuring only over 25 year olds survive, we effectively cull a large part of the tax problem. Rather like we got rid of badges. That's right, we think poor people are badges and should die. That's how the national living wage works. Just a short one from me. I'm off to Panama. I've got some cash to hide in David Cameron's dead relatives. Bye.